up everybody mighty ducks mayheim checking in welcome to the state farm champions classic between the number nine ranked duke blue devils trying to rebound after a loss at home in cameron indoor stadium against the arizona wildcats you haven't seen that video go check it out you got the duke blue devils taking on number 18 ranked michigan state spartans both teams one and one spartans they first start off the season with a loss against james madison and then they had a big one against somebody. I can't think who it was. So they won against them. So also to us, ladies and gentlemen, last night the Denver Broncos took care of business against the Buffalo Bills on the road. As the Denver Broncos defeated the Buffalo Bills 24-22, to which ended up being Ken Dorsey, Bills offensive coordinator. He would get fired after the game. Josh Allen threw two interceptions. Oh, man. Not the way the Buffalo Bills won going along with their season. They are 5-5. Five and five. Denver Broncos are 4-5. and five. Now For the Broncos, you got to give them credit. You know, I think that 70-20 blowout loss against Miami Dolphins and earlier in the season, I think that was a wake-up call. So, they also got the NBA in-season tournament going on. Heat leading the Hornets, 95-90. Here comes Duke on the free throw line. There's one. And here comes the other one for Duke. Here's Ryan Young, 8.7 rebounds. He makes it, makes it, nine. Magic, Nets, Orlando leading Brooklyn, 77-73. And here come the Michigan State Spartans. Don't foul, don't foul. And not good foul at all. <laughs> Let's see. Thunder leading the Spurs 70 to 50 in West Group C tournament. I mean, what was it last night when the Washington Wizards led the Toronto Raptors and the Raptors came back? That was unbelievable. So here comes Duke. They will substitute. And UConn defeats MS Val, Val State 87-53. to UConn's ranked number five. Oh, they missed the other free throw. Here comes the Blue Devils. 69-61. Next up will be the number one ranked Kansas Jayhawks taking on the number 17 ranked Kentucky Wildcats to battle the Blue Bloods. Do I think UConn should be a blue blonde themselves? That's a freaking lily. They won five titles in almost 25 years. Five titles. What was it? With three different coaches, I think? Because 98 99, they, won it with the same, they pretty much won with the same coach with the three years. And oh! What a shot by Duke! Makes it a 10 point game again! Here comes the Spartans. No. Oh. Our foul. Uh oh. Almost temper flaring. Don't want that. And Duke fans, after a loss against the Arizona Wildcats. <laughs> that could have ended badly. You also got the Denver Nuggets taking on the Los Angeles Clippers. 10 Eastern tonight. Yeah, you don't want any bad blood going around. That's for sure. And here we go. Makes it an 11-point game. So Duke rebounds after a loss. Against the Wildcats at home. Here's the Spartans. Oh, what a drive. What a layup. And Duke trying to run down the clock. Uh-oh. An immediate foul by the Spartans. But yeah, that was crazy. The Bills, they thought they won it. And then a uh, penalty. Which, that was a costly penalty for the Bills. 12 men on the field. 
And then Denver Broncos had another chance, won the game, walk off field goal, 24-22. But this week for Thursday, Amazon Prime, yes, we finally get ourselves a good one. An AFC North showdown between the Baltimore Ravens and the Cincinnati Bengals. Both teams coming off losses against the Browns. Yeah, Ravens were leading, what, 31-9. Browns came back in the fourth quarter, walk off field goal. You haven't seen that video? Go check it out. And then the Houston Texans defeated the Cincinnati Bengals. Bengals would have had a Tyler Boyd touchdown. Unfortunately, well, missed it. What happened? Bengals kicked the field goal, tied the game. What did CJ, CJ Stroud do? He did what he did against Tampa Bay. Let him downfield and then set up a game-winning field goal. Texans ended up winning 30-27. to Tyler Boyd, I don't blame him for being pissed about, you know, dropping a wide-open touchdown. But hopefully he'll rebound and hear the stand. Oh, what a shot by the Spartans. A boom layup. So Tom Izzo, Spartans coach, he calls a timeout. Down by nine. So pretty much it's a nine-point game. Spartans need a miracle to win this to literally tie this game. They need a bunch of threes. That's what they need. They need like nine threes. Bang, 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 bang. But you need a miracle. Yeah. And Spartan fans are leaving. Dude, game's not over yet, people. Why are you leaving? But also, too, is you don't you want to leave early because of traffic. <laughs> so, also, too, is we got some NHL. Uh, Global Series showdowns in Sweden. Well, we got Ottawa Senators, Minnesota Wild, Detroit Red Wings, Toronto Maple Leafs. They're all going to be in Sweden and, the, and toward the end of this week. I think it might be some good games. So Tom Ryan Class, Reed Guard, 23rd overall, Robert Dillingham, uh, Dillingham, Guard, 15th overall, Aaron Bradshaw Center, Sixth overall, DJ Wagner, fourth overall, Justin Edwards, third overall, forward. Oh. Not bad, not bad at all. I believe they say it was Kentucky, not Duke. So Kentucky will take on the Kansas Jayhawks. And here they come. And here we go. That'll do it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to wrap up this video. Final score. Duke Blue Devils 74. Michigan State Spartans 65. As the Duke Blue Devils will rebound after a loss against the Arizona Wildcats at home. We'll see you on the next one. Mighty Ducks signing off.